Sometimes life throws you a curveball. Sometimes the world around you gives you more than you think you can handle. But guess what? Nature is made to survive. Animals, including us, can survive amazingly harsh conditions. Never say never. Here are some animals that have learned and evolved to adapt to some of the worst conditions in the world. When it gets really cold outside, we need to bundle up. We have to put on gloves and hats and jackets, all sorts of extra stuff so that we can stay warm. Now there are some animals that have adapted to be able to exist in that environment and survive just fine despite the extreme cold. Here are some examples. Polar bears have multiple layers of thick, thick fur. And they also have layers of not just fat, but actual blubber, like a whale. That blubber that protects whales from the intense cold in the ocean is also what protects polar bears from the intense cold in the Arctic. It works like insulation in your house. All that extra padding in the walls to try and make sure that all that heat stays inside. They also have completely black skin. What causes your skin and hair to have different shades of dark and light is called melanin. That's what causes you to, when you sit out in the sun, get darker and darker and start to get a tan. That melanin protects you from the sun. So them having completely black skin allows them to be protected from the sun's rays reflecting off of the snow around them. It also helps them soak up that sun safely so that they can absorb that heat and stay warm. But how do they manage to soak up that sun when they have such thick fur? That doesn't make any sense, right? Well, believe it or not, their fur isn't white. It's actually completely transparent. So even though it's thick enough that we don't necessarily see through it, the sun reflects through their fur and actually off of their fur to bounce back on their skin so they can absorb the sun throughout the day just constantly. Now this guy is a weird little decapod. So how would you expect a crab to be able to survive in extremely cold waters at the very very bottom of the ocean? Well believe it or not they put on a sweater. That's right. Not kidding. They basically evolved to grow a sweater. So they put on a sweater and they turn up the heat. Sounds silly, but it's not that far from the truth. They found what's called hydrothermal vents. So it's little gaps that have slightly warmer water coming through those gaps in the ground. So they sit on that, basically on that heater at the bottom of the ocean wearing their little sweaters, and that is how they protect themselves. Now, in an environment where very few things actually survive, what do they eat? How do they survive? Well, they actually grow their own food. They grow bacteria on the little hairs on their arms. They grow bacteria on their little sweaters, and that is what they eat. So, not only have these crabs put on a sweater and sat on a heater, they also started growing a garden. That's a very interesting animal. Now we have another species that actually can stop time for itself. Now when it gets super, super cold, Alaskan wood frogs, since they can't actually handle the cold, what they do is they just allow themselves to freeze. Everything shuts down. They can survive in as low as negative 80 degrees. They freeze the whole winter and then thaw in the spring and just come back to life. No kidding. Their heart literally stops beating for the whole winter, and then they just pop back into hopping around like nothing ever happened. They are the most abundant frog in Alaska. Now, this is a very dangerous area with a lot of predators. So, how do you get away from predators in an environment that is act with dangerous animals they yell they yell really loud that's all they do when a predator grabs at them they scream really loud and it startles them and the predators just let them go so they can hop away so they've adapted to be able to live in an environment that is extremely cold half the year 
and populated by dangerous predators the other half of the year. And all they do is stop time once in a while and yell really loud when they get mad. What a fabulous way of adapting. How crazy is that, right? <laughs>